The search continues for a swimmer who went missing Sunday morning after witnesses say he was attacked by a shark at Point Reyes National Seashore. We have personnel at Wildcat Beach uh, looking uh, for any sign of the, the missing individual. We do actually have jet skis from Golden Gate National Recreation Area coming over as well as jet skis from Stinson Beach Fire Department. According to witnesses, the missing swimmer was with a group that was celebrating a wedding at the Wildcat campsite around 10.40 a.m. Sunday. The U.S. Coast Guard received an emergency report. Samantha E. Dale used her satellite phone to help the group call for help. They said it was a shark attack and um, and said that, uh, I, I said, how, how bad is it? He said that his friend was attacked and that didn't come out back out of the water and that... Um, and then, and, and so I, I, I hit the uh, the SOS on my my um, satellite communicator, took the, the communicator down to the the beach, which was right below us because we were on the edge of the bluff, um, so that they'd be able to locate um, this the communicator. To get to the area where the swimmer was last seen, workers here confirmed he had to hike six to seven miles to make it to that spot, an area that is uncommon to swim at. The National Park Service is categorizing this incident as an unconfirmed shark attack, but stated a strong population of white sharks in the area. We're hoping for the best possible outcome. According to the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, there have been 210 shark attacks or incidents off the California coast since 1950. In Point Reyes, Beekman says there haven't been any fatalities in the last 20 years. Sometimes we get in our head and we're like, oh, the water looks nice. Why not just jump in, cool off? Things can change. You never know what's out there. This morning, the U.S. Coast Guard ended their search, but members of the National Park Service are set to continue until at least tomorrow. In Marin County, Luz Peña, ABC 7 News.